so we've designed the columns for the first floor like this as you can see and by first floor i mean this one 0.9 meters in the structural levels so then i open this level up so you should also pay attention where the codes are placed like this in the autocad file the plus 91 that we have here is placed on top of the beam and now we get to the beam framing we need to continue the columns upwards like this and then put in the beams that we have at each height for example here we have plus 90 and if we take a look at the map here it's right here b11 b9 b8 and then b19 here b16 here down here we have b7s then b5 here and then down here we have b4 so let us take a look and see what these b2 b3 types actually are let me go into the plan let's see if they're here all right let's go up here so here we can see the type b1 and then b2 and b3 these are all section a's and then if we go into the details that we have in this part we'll see we have the section a and then section b section c and the rest and as you can see here all the sections and their dimensions are clear to see so for example in this one we have 40 by 30 and then this one next to it we also have 40 by 30 this one is 70 by 40 so now we'll go here and make the dimensions for these ones here in the structural framing family open up the concrete let me delete this one and then i'll select this one and rename it so the first one is going to be 40 by 30. let me just cancel for seconds and then put this on 3d view so if you take a look at this part this one is b and then this one is h so i'll go here and click on rename again so the first one's b and then h so we put in 300 by 400 mm then okay and then okay again and as we said this doesn't show up in quantity surveying so i open up the edits and now here as you can see we have bh so i click on modify and then shared parameters put this on b okay and then we get to the H and the shared parameters and then put this on H and OK. Let's just save the file here in the families and then after that load into project and close and then overwrite on this. So let's go back to the structural framing here and double click on the 30 by 41 and then here i'll edit the h2.4 then apply so the next ones that we have are all 30 by 40 and then this one's 30 by 70 so i'll duplicate this and then name it by 400 by 700 mm okay and then here edit b2.4 and then h2.7 so i'll click on ok here so now we have to make sure to do the rest of these and add them like we just did let's just take a look at the autocad file again let me open it up here so here i'll open up the beam framing plan that we have and in order to make this easier for us i'll just select this ctrl c and then ctrl n and then save it in here then here ctrl v to paste it so here the elevation is plus 90 and then down here is plus 4 and then this one is from 7.6 to 11.2 then the next one is from 14.8 to 18.4 and the last one 22 to 25.6
so we have a type for each two so here in the plan i'll get rid of these extra texts that we have and pretty much everything that's not necessary get rid of these lines and dimensions as well and there we go and then delete this text as well then select all of the plan and then select the point as our base point put in zero zero and then z plus enter e plus enter then i'll type in un then put the unit on meters and then pu to open up the menu and purge all all right then close it then ctrl s to save it and i'll name this one 04 dash beams plus 900 mm you can put whatever name that's to your preference all right after we've done that here i'll right click on this and then click on this option copy full file path and then let me minimize the autocad file here i'll just keep it in view because we might need it later on and then here in the Revit file we'll go to the insert tab and then click on link cat then paste the file name here this one's on manual origin and ok and I go here and put it in this point in the plan then from the modify tab I'll select align and then I'll align this with this one and then this one with this and there we go I'll just save it up to this point and after that I'll go to the structure tab then here I'll select the beam tool for example here in the plan we have B9 so let's take a look at the AutoCAD file here we have B9 as well let me close this and then here we get to see what B9 is here we have B4 B3, B15, B11, B6 and now we have to find B9 uh, type in find here here let's type in B-9 let's see if we can find it and there it is after that hit done to close this and then let's take a look at the B9 to see how it looks here for height we have plus 90 so let's find the cut for this here we have gg let's find the gg cut in here let's see where it is it's here section gg so here it's 70 by 40 and we already have created the 40 by 70 right here so i'll select beam and then here I'll draw the beam from this corner to this one so here we have different ways of drawing the beam and putting it here we can make modifications to it we can decide which part goes on top and then here we can decide if it goes left right or center here I'll put it on left and then I'll put the beam right here I'll put this on fine excuse me it seems like I've made a mistake select this one instead and there it is then here I'll select it again and then draw from this corner to this one here hit tab to place it correctly and after that we go here and draw from this corner to this one and as you can see this is what they look like so now i'll do the columns and the beams and the framing for this part so you try to do it as well and then we'll continue after that because generally these parts are easy so i'll see you after it